music has changed the world in ways that other things, other people, other arts can't. It can make you feel so many emotions in just a matter of three minutes in a song. You want to hear that music when you want to be happy, or you want to hear that music when you have an adversity in your life that you need to conquer. Music has a power that impacts people in many ways. Hi, my name is Marion. I was a part of the vinyl generation. When I was a teenager, I loved to dance. I still love to dance, but I'm not as good as I used to be growing up. There was a lot of dance places that I liked to go to. One in particular that my parents didn't allow us to go to, and that was called the Blue Angel. But me and my friends snuck in there quite a few times. You name it, they played it. Rock and roll music, fast music, slow music, Bobby Vinton, Bobby Darren, Elvis. I mean, there was a lot of other singers, but he was the greatest. He was good looking and he had the best voice and he could sing anything they had him record. He could really, really sing. Then after the dances, we used to go down to Dean's Diner and we used to eat French fries with gravy on them, which was delicious. Vinyl records were the best. There were 33s, 45s, and 78s. To this day, I still have some 45s, and I still have some 33s. I have them put away, and they're still good, and I could get them out, and I could play them now on my little record player. I can remember when I met my husband, he had a convertible. I can remember us driving around when we were dating and with the top down and listening to just great music. There was no better music than the 50s and the 60s. And I still like to listen to it and I'm 76 years old.
What's up folks, my name is Gary and I primarily grew up in the cassette generation. The 80s was a great time to grow up. You had huge monumental bands developed in the 80s and their music, that kind of defined who we were. It was the era of tennis shoes, jeans, and a concert t-shirt. All these bands that were coming out, a lot, maybe 30, 40%, that's how they dressed. I love Jimi Hendrix, The Who, Rush. There was so much diversity in music. You could listen to anything. Through music, we got exposed to what was happening, like Live Aid, Farm Aid, and different kinds of events and stuff like that. He was watching it for the music, but in between was news of what was happening around the world. To us, that, that brought us outside of the little small town home of what was just affecting us in our local area. When I was growing up, you had this music recording that could fit in the palm of your hand. Being able to fast forward or rewind or flip it over to side B to play what you wanted. Up to that point, you had some sort of big stereo system that it was non-movable. You pretty much listened to music at home and stuff. The cassette was huge because when the cassette came along, it kind of gave you mobility to where you could take it with you. I think uh, there's music that's lasted over multiple generations because it reconnects with the people, but the music is so good that it just, it lasts the test of time. There was so much available across the genres to listen to. I mean, you could pretty much pick anything you want from hard rock bands to mellow to techno to heavy metal. To this day, I still love that music and that's primarily what I listened to. It was a great era for music. Hey, I'm Taylor and I'm part of the CD generation. I guess we were always kind of fun. We would go to school dances and drive around town and go get ice cream. But as far as what we'd wear, we were jeans and tennis shoes kind of people. Sixth grade talent show. I was so excited to sing Gwen Stefani. And I remember getting up there and being so scared. It was my favorite song and I made sure I sang it. I remember looking out to the crowd and my mom was crying and grandma was crying and I knew the song touched them because it meant a lot to us. Has music had a huge impact? Yeah, absolutely. I listen to music every single day. We liked NSYNC, Carrie Underwood. Oh, I liked Demi. And then I have to add in there that my dad totally made me listen to ACDC. Oh, I think my favorite was Stevie Nicks though. I really liked CDs because I could pretty much take them anywhere I went, and I liked that I could use them in the car. I used to love to take them to my friend's house and we'd trade CDs and, and see who had the best CD and who had the most songs. Why do I believe music has lasted over multiple generations? Probably because it's been able to transform with the type of people that come into the world. There's so many different personalities and there's a different type of music to suit every type of person out there and people can relate to that.
What's up, bud? My name is Vinny, and I'm a part of the MP3 player generation. You know, our generation did a lot of weird stuff, but it was our generation, man. Music was kind of the all we always seemed to be like the central central piece of everything that was going on. It was the generation of stereotypical hip hop and emo. So it was like your stereotypical sad kids. I'm a big Dangerous Summer fan. They have a song, No One's Gonna Need You More. I can play that song and sing it by heart. It reminds me that the people around me are important, that I'm important. There's somebody out there that probably wants to be around me, that there are people in the world that I'm like, I can't go on without some of these people that it's okay sometimes to look out for yourself, that looking out for other people is also a wonderful and beautiful thing. You don't have to be alone in this world because there's no point in doing it by yourself. My generation was the wonderful generation that came up with music on electronic files. A lot of people don't know is that there are probably 30 different types of audio files, but the one that always reigned king in terms of notoriety was MP3. You can tell when a song is written to sell records and that's the purpose of the song it's meant to sell and make money and then you can also tell when a song is raw and real it's got real instruments real people who played real instruments and it's got words that somebody wrote not because they were getting paid to do so but because they needed somebody else in the world to understand the feeling they were feeling well i think music lasts because it's true you, you, you take the feelings that music conveys, that music instills, and as long as people are here, there's going to be music that lasts. Music has a power beyond any other art form and any other force in the universe and with music you can hit play and you hear a story you hear a poem you feel a feeling sometimes that you've never felt before or that maybe what you're feeling is the exact same thing that whoever wrote or recorded the song is feeling your feeling is either unique or it's not and either way, it's beautiful because it's either one in a million or you just became instantly connected with millions of other people.